Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dhawal Man, and today we will talk about Google Gemini. So the AI war of large language model has begun. Google Gemini is the master stroke in the world of large language models. Google Gemini is completely a game changer in the world of artificial intelligence. Before we explore specifics of Google Gemini, let's take a brief trip back into the time. In 1950, the renowned Alan Turing, in his influential paper, Computing Machinery and Intelligence, pondered the notion of machine intelligence. He raised the fundamental question, see the first line, can machines think? Fast forward 73 years, and Google has introduced the AI model called Gemini which addresses many of the limitations Turing highlighted regarding computational machinery's ability to truly emulate human thought processes. Google Gemini represents a significant stride towards bridging the gap between the human-like thinking and artificial intelligence. Google Gemini is a multi-model LLM which will replace Lambda and PAM2. Google Gemini is a multimodal language model. It can understand different types of information, including text, audio, images, and video, and it can give the output in text as well as image format. Now let's go to the page Google DeepMind. Click on the first link. So it's written, welcome to the Gemini era. The new sun has born. Click on explore more. Now scroll. So Gemini is the first model to outperform human experts on MMLU, that is massive multitask language understanding with 90% accuracy. It is more smarter than humans. Its performance in testing has surpassed chat GPT performance. Gemini surpasses existing state-of-the-art models. This is SOTA is for state-of-the-art model in performance on all multi-model tasks. The most interesting thing is that the Google Gemini outperforms human experts on Hella Swag scale, here it is, which is a scale for the common sense reasoning for everyday tasks. The results of the empirical testing are published in the paper Gemini, a family of highly capable multimodal models. Now go on the page number two. Gemini AI is verifying the student's solution to the physics problem. This is handwritten. The model is able to correctly recognize all of the handwritten, uh, handwritten contact and verify the reasoning. It also gives a reason for the wrong answer. Just see here. Now go on page number seven. And here the Hellaswag scale is there. Now again, we'll go back on the web page. Gemini comes in three sizes, Ultra, Pro, and Nano. Gemini Ultra is the most capable and the largest model for higher complex tasks. Gemini Pro is the best model for scaling across a wide range of tasks. Gemini Nano is the most efficient model for on-device tasks. It has been designed to work on Android phones. Now let's have some hands-on experience. Click here, hands-on. Scroll. Uh, just press on this play button and... Tell me what you see. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. What about now? The contour lines are smooth and flowing, with no sharp angles or jagged edges. 
It looks like a bird to me. Hmm, what if I add this? The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes. A duck is a type of waterfowl in the family Anatidae. Ducks are closely related to geese and swans. The duck appears to be blue. So it can understand multimodal dialogue. Now let's click on multilinguality. Click here. Then water. Can you teach me how to say this in a different language? And give me a few options. Ooh, can you explain how to pronounce the Mandarin one? Is it Yatsu? Yatsu is pronounced with a first tone. In Mandarin, there are four tones, which are essential to distinguish the meaning of words. The first tone is a high level tone. Oh, okay. The now let's click on the game creation. Okay, based on what you see, come up with a game idea. Oh, and use emojis, please. How about this? We can play a game called Guess the Country. Sure, let's do it. Clue one. This country is the home of the kangaroo, the koala, and the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, that's easy. Clue two. This country loves football and has won the most men's World Cups in football history. Hmm. You are trying to get me to find the paper ball under the cup. I accept the challenge. The cup to the left. Nice. So you can see its intelligence. It can understand multilinguality, game creation. Now, just we will talk about the visual puzzles. I'll click here on visual puzzles. You are trying to get me to find the paper ball under the cup. I accept the challenge. The cup to the left. Nice. I know what you're doing. You're playing rock, paper, scissors. What do you see now? The fingers are spread out to look like the wings of a butterfly. What's this? Big ear and barking mouth. A dog. Sweet. Let's activate making connections and just see. Both objects are round and flat. There you go. Both are food. The orange is a healthier choice than the cookie. Citrus can be calming and so can the spin of the fidget toy. They are both examples of popular toys that have been enjoyed by children and adults alike for many years. Give me some ideas for what I could make with this. I see pink and green yarn. How about a dragon fruit? Or how about a green cake with a pink heart? Okay, how about these colors? And maybe show me some animals. Okay, now I see blue and pink yarn. How about a pig with blue ears? Or an octopus? Or Definitely you can explore a few more options like transit, uh, translating the visuals, cultural understanding and the list is on and on. You can also uh, see the prompting techniques which have been used here. Click here. And see the prompting techniques. You are giving the image. Tell me what you see. So the answer is I see a person's right hand. The ha hand is off, open with the fingers spread apart. Now a person knocking on the wooden door. You are just providing the image. I see a hand with two fingers extended, which is a common symbol for number two. Once the training has been done, it will give you the answer that you are alternating between rock and scissors. Let's proceed further. Spatial reasoning and logic. So, you are given the images. Is this right order? Consider the distance from the sun and explain your reasoning. The answer is no. The correct order is sun, earth, Saturn. The sun is the closest to the center of the solar system. Very intelligent. We have drawn two images. Which of this? Just let me zoom it a little bit. Which of this car is more aer aerodynamic? The one on the left or the right? Explain why using specific visual details. The car on the right is more aerodynamic. It has a lower profile and a more streamlined shape. The car on the left has a higher profile and more boxy shape which makes it less 
aerodynamic image sequence guess what i am what movie i am acting out answer is matrix so this trick we have already seen google gemini can be used to accurately solve problems in the industry and the diagnosis of the diseases so This was all about Google Gemini to access more videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, YouTube channel Dawal Mehta. You can see on the right hand side where you will find tutorials on various softwares such as SPSS, R, Python, eViews, Brettle, Envivo, Smart PLS, Excel, machine learning using Nine. You can see in my playlist, all these videos are available. You can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. The link is given in the description box even of my YouTube channel.